This video will show you how to create the mesh for the solid 3D signpost. First, you will start off in the ANSYS Workbench project window, and you double-click on Model. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will notice a tab labeled Mesh. We highlight that. And the first thing we will be doing is creating a body sizing for the post. We do this by clicking on the drop down menu for mesh control and sizing. And then we will change the selection from a face to a body. And now we select the post as our body. And we hit apply. we will be editing the element size and forcing it to be 2.65 inches. Now, you can make this smaller if you would like, but this size was chosen to stay within the 30,000 node limit for those of you who are using the ANSYS student version. And the next thing we will be doing is adding a multi-zone method to the post as well. Similarly, we go to Mesh Control and hit Method, and we select the post body again, and then we set it to multi-zone via this tab. Now we will be leaving it on the defaults at matte face mesh type of hexa, and what this is going to do is basically it's an advanced sweeping method approach to producing a mostly hexagonal mesh. Now hexagonal meshes are chosen because hex elements are used for optimal solution, efficiency, and accuracy. And the next thing we'll be doing is creating a hex dominant method for the sign itself and the sign's base. So, we do this again by clicking Mesh Control, Method, and selecting the sign body along with the post, and hitting Apply. And then down here, we'll select the method to be the hex dominant method. In the same manner, it produces a mostly hexagonal mesh for this sign. And in order to generate the mesh, we right click on mesh and click generate mesh. You can see the mesh that has been generated. And if you zoom in closely, you will notice this small surface body here. And this is the application surface for the variable load WX2. And the ANSYS, ANSYS automatically created a fairly clean and simplistic mesh for this application surface. So that we're just going to leave that as it is. We will use this mesh while setting up the rest of the steps in this tutorial. Once we get to the solution, we will improve the mesh while performing a mesh convergence analysis in the solution section of the tutorial.